British athlete Jordan Thomas is doing something few people do at the age of 30. He's transitioning to a new sport. Taekwondo is his new discipline in the hope of competing at the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris. I'm 30 years old, transferring into an environment where really it's normally early 20s, 25 years old, mid 20s, not 29, 30 years old, you know, so um, for me every day is a win. Um, I'm here 30 years old contending with these youngsters and enjoying it at the same time. Now Jordan is a decorated athlete having won gold at the Karate World Championships in 2016. He's also a former European champion in the sport too, so he's no stranger to the top step of the podium. But moving from karate, a sport he grew up with, and now taking on another martial art discipline, Taekwondo, is a big step for even a man of his stature. I'm on this Paris 2024 journey uh, in this cycle. I fought some, some good international fighters and I'm not too far off there either. It's just baby tactics that I need to redefine, um, instincts that you know I need to convert over to being taekwondo. I'm always going to give 100% I'm always going to give my best. And also I'm in the GB taekwondo with some of the best athletes in the world. And actually we've got Bradley Sinden here who is the role model of the boys being world champion. Uh, Olympic silver medalist, European champion just gone. It's um, the perfect environment to, to be able to then execute them goals. From the outside looking in, you'd think being a former karate world champion would help Jordan on his path to being a professional Taekwondo player. And you'd be right, as he explains, there are attributes he can carry over into his new sport. My punch game is obviously um, very, very strong. Um, my distance play is very, very strong. Um, I've been in the fight game internationally since, well, just over a decade now. Um, so I can still transfer over some of them skills. I've still got a good eye in, in, a, in a combat sport. You know, I can still bring that across, that experience. I'm 30 years old, transferring into an environment where really it's normally early 20s, 25 years old, mid 20s, not 29, 30 years old, you know. So um, for me, every day is a win. Um, I'm here 30 years old, contending with these youngsters and enjoying it at the same time. You said about the age thing, how was that on the body? I have to basically be more careful with it. I'm not like these youngsters where they can just turn up just before training and go straight in 100%. I have to be here uh, 30 minutes before, I have to be disciplined, I have to eat right, I have to sleep right. Otherwise, you know, my body will start failing on me and I won't be able to achieve these goals. Um, so yeah, I have to have a more tailored program. You know, you're old as you feel. That's that's the quote, isn't it? <laughs> Jordan's been a fixture at the home of GB Taekwondo for many years now, moving from his native Luton in the south to Manchester in the north. One of his good friends in the sport, two-time Olympic medalist Bianca Walkden, won her fourth European gold in May, and Thomas says he can only be inspired by those around him hitting the top. Bianca's a good friend of mine as well. Um, so seeing her achieve and being around that success and being around seeing what it meant to her as well and seeing her on that journey um, just keeps inspiring me like and everybody else in here as well. There's so much talent, there's so much individual inspiring stories here um, and you know everybody's on their own journeys and and to be honest with you, my sporting career, I've already achieved European champion. I've already achieved world champion. So I'm, it's no stranger for me to be at championships like that. So, you know, actually I was saying to my coach, it's the first time I haven't actually been training for a major championships in my career, my, my elite sporting career. So that was quite strange for me. So yeah, of course, I love the environment. I love the, you know, the, the major championships because that's where everybody gets it right, where everybody wants to get it right and only a few people can. And like we had a conversation earlier, there's only one gold medal. Um, and, that's, and that's the beauty of it, the competitiveness of it and who's going to come out on top. 
for all athletes, coming out on top is the dream. And without getting too technical, for Jordan, it's now about knuckling down and preparing for his next competition. And despite a couple of injury setbacks, Thomas has been to two events as a taekwondo player, although he admits he needs more fight time. But he'd be pleased he doesn't have to wait long for his next big test. So it's around about September, October time, so later in this year, so now I've got a good block to reset, go tactical, technical, and also just to be able to pin down what I need to refine to go into this next stage of the season. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. The Olympics is so exciting, so exciting, and it's the biggest sporting event in the world. Who wouldn't want to be contending for gold medal for Great Britain? That's the story, that's the dream. The Olympics is, is something that this place makes real.